True Beauties, Heather here with today's True Beauty Quick Tip. Today I'm so excited to share with you guys how to get the perfect pink pout. So I thought this would be really fun with our continuation for Valentine's Day kisses. This will go perfect, you guys, with the video that I did last week, so definitely check that out. As always, I will have the link up above for you, and that was how to plump your lips naturally. I actually have that mixture on my lips right now, and you guys, it seriously feels amazing. It feels all pepperminty and kind of cinnamony, and it just I just wanna lick my lips, it feels so good. So as we speak, my lips are being kind of plumped it feels so amazing and then I will show you the next step to really get the color that you want so this is really interesting a survey actually showed that guys prefer a light pink pout or a light pink lip over dark lipstick and it makes so much sense you guys of course they don't want dark lipstick all over their clothes or you know on their cheeks or on their lips so I thought that was really interesting what I really love about a light pink lip is it's perfect for any age so if you are brand new to makeup this is going to be great to not be kind of over the top but it's also going to be really good to kind of kind of vamp it up get smoky eyes so definitely check out my smoky eye video again I'll have a link up above for you guys and without further ado enjoy today's video see you later guys all right guys, so step number one is going to be old trusty. I have featured this in so many videos. You guys are probably so bored of hearing about it, but it's because I love this chapstick. It is Blistex Silk and Shine SPF 15. So we'll hold it nice, up and close and perfect. I really need to get my nails done. They do not look very good, but it is what it is. I'll get them done tomorrow. So ignore that. Um, so basically what I do is after I do my lip plumper, I just put it on like this. Okay, and I'm like obsessed with my chapstick, you guys. When I put this on, I literally, it's almost like I go into like a zen state. My husband jokes around with me all the time because he's like, are you having fun over there? I'm just like, uh, it feels so good. And a lot of people get chapped lips and I honestly never get chapped lips. And I think it's because of that fractionated coconut oil that is in the other video that I recommended for you guys, um, the how to get plump lips naturally because it hydrates my lips. But also this guy, like old trusty, really keeps so it looks nice and hydrated. It definitely helps with the plump factor as far as, you know, just hydrating, making them look shinier, healthier. And my favorite thing is that it has SPF 15, so it's preventing aging and burning and of course skin cancer. So as True Beauties, we wanna be healthy and beautiful on the inside and out. So love this guy, that is step number one. All right guys, so step number two, this is one of my, one of my favorite things just because it's super affordable and it's such a great unique color. So this is e.l.f., it's the matte lip color. So I'll hold it up like this, beautiful. Look at how gorgeous that color is, you guys. I mean, as girls, I don't think there's one girl, it really does not matter what your skin tone is, that it would not fall in love with this color. It's so beautiful. And this color in particular is called Nearly Nude. So as always, you guys, I will have links below on where you can purchase all these items um, because I know that Nearly Nude is super hard to find. I used to get this at Target just because it's the e.l.f. brand. And now I can see my little Zen kitty over here, so you might see her jump up in a second. Um, but now, you know, I find that they, I don't know if they changed their line or what the deal is. Is, but whenever I go to Target, they never have it. So now I order this um, usually from the link I'm gonna post below or there's a few other spots, so definitely check it out. The way that I use this is as a lip liner to thicken my lips, but also really as a lipstick. Okay, so I start at the outer edge. What I like about it is you don't have to be perfect, okay? So just kinda start there. A little bit in the center. Notice I'm not going all the way in. I don't go all the way in like in here because it's really gross when you like have that clumpy like lipstick look and you're talking to people and there's that like line. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. Like that line right here. Nobody wants that. It's so embarrassing. So my little trick is when I do that chapstick, that kind of moisturizes and prevents that. And then I'm not putting this directly in there so it kind of transitions to the lighter pink. That's something that not a lot of other makeup artists, not a lot of other people People do but I highly recommend it you will never ever ever get that embarrassing line which we've all been there there's nothing wrong with that we've definitely all been there I can totally relate but we want to prevent that as much as possible so notice I'm really going like outside my lip to make them appear thicker it just gives it a little bit of a sexier look top I go right on the actual lip on top 
All right, so then last but not least, sometimes this look looks really pretty. It kind of has that boho chic, you know, those types of looks that I pin all the time on Pinterest. Uh, follow me on Pinterest, you'll see I love boho chic style, kind of like what I was rocking with my hair today. So I love this, but again, sometimes it doesn't really make my lips look very thick. And I notice in pictures that it just doesn't look as good like as it does in person. So I'm like, what were they thinking that day? So then what I found was this guy. So this guy is a MAC lip plumper. You guys, mm, this is amazing. It is so awesome. I always feel like I spend too much on this and then after I buy it, I'm always like, what was I thinking? This is amazing. So this is um, Pretty Plush. So it is their Lip Plumper line. Again, I will have the link below on where to buy it from their site. And then I just focus this really all over. I do it a few times. Definitely up here where that little V is. On the outer edge. So this is also a lip plumper, like I said, so it's going to really plump up the lips. It's a little bit more sticky than some other lip plumpers, so it'll last a long time. And I focus it on the center. If you focus your lip gloss or anything shiny on the center of the lower lip, that naturally makes the lips appear basically more plump. It's actually an optical illusion, but it's a really good trick for any lip gloss, even if you're not putting on a lip plumper. And it really just brings the whole look together. So right away, you know, it just kind of makes my eye makeup look like I just added eye makeup. It really makes my bronzer or my blush look like I added makeup there. I did not do anything differently. I simply just lightened my lips and I made the whole look come together. Super easy transition from day to night. So I always keep these three, you guys. I mean, all the time, these are in my purse. If you watch my video, what I keep in my purse um, or what's in my purse rather, I actually will pull these ones out because they're always, always in my bag as old trusty to transition from day and tonight. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making this as always. Super fun. I love makeup tutorials. Let me know with a thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know with comments below if you want to hear more makeup tutorials or what videos you guys want. I'm actually creating a calendar right now with all different video topics and requests from you guys. So I really want to know what you guys want to see. Um, you know, yoga videos, of course, fitness, health, nutrition, fashion, self-confidence and self-esteem, and of course, makeup, style, you name it. Anything that has to do with inner and outer beauty, I love this stuff, I really love connecting with you guys. This is truly my passion, and having you guys support the channel and support our mission at Truity Movement just means so much to me. So make sure that you're following me on Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz, you can connect to everything from my blog, which is truebeautymovement.com. Again, I will have the links below. And until next time, remember, be balanced, be true, and be proud of you. See you later, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's True Beauty Quick Tip. If you like what you see and for more confidence building tips on how to be a beauty from the inside out, remember to subscribe to our channel and connect with us at truebeautymovement.com. That's T-R-U without the E, beauty movement. Love you guys. Until next time, remember, be balanced, be true, and proud to be you.